Story 1, Beekeeping. I always fantasized about it and watched friends and neighbors doing mysterious things with mysterious tools at their tall, mismatched hive boxes, just drowning in honey every year, washing that precious liquid gold off of their hands, giving it away left and right, always with full golden jugs all over their shelves. Finally, after decades of daydreaming, my husband got me my first hive as a birthday gift. A decade later, I feel like a real beekeeper. My house is full of honey, and I turn that honey into some delicious mead. Story 2. Board games. I used to play them as a kid, simple ones like Monopoly, and as I grew older, I discovered the amazing world of strategy board games. I started with Settlers of Caton and grew my collection to over 50 games. I have friends who own over 200 games, and there is a board game cafe in my town with a large collection where I sometimes go and play with friends. Story 3. Started crocheting toys at 27 because I could never afford Pokemon plushies growing up. Now, I've got a ton of them, and they are pretty good if I do say so myself. Story 4. Woodworking. Finally, I got around to building a workspace in the garage, and man, it's so freaking fun just going out there and messing around with projects after work. We even set up an arts and crafts area so our daughter can work on her projects while I work on mine. We spend at least a few hours out there every day after work, and sometimes the occasional lazy Sunday afternoon as well. Story 5. Bird watching. It's not just for old folks anymore. It honestly helps me with the anxiety of changing seasons, which is weird to say since so many birds leave come fall. But winter birds show up, and they bring me happiness. I will always advocate for knowing about things that live in our backyard. Being able to identify random birds is so wonderful. Story 6. Bird watching is pretty undefeated. I used to hate going on walks because I would just be in my head and get bored, but now I can truly enjoy nature by listening to the birds and trying to find them in the wild. If you download the apps eBird and Merlin ID, it's basically Pokemon Go but in real life. Everywhere you go, you see different birds and add them to your list. They also change every season so you have more reasons to go out. I've only been doing it for a month and would 100% recommend. Story 7. Drawing or Painting Mom was a professional artist who encouraged all of her kids to play music because there's no money to be made in art, like music is an endless source of wealth. Several years after she passed away, it occurred to me to try drawing. You know, like reading books on it, watching videos, practicing, not just doodling. Surprisingly, it worked. I will never draw or paint like a professional, but it's enough to make me happy. It's weird that I started at age 50, though. Story 8. Wildlife photography, specifically birds. Nothing beats a trip into the remote Colombian jungle, seeing an ultra-rare bird, and getting a great photo of it. I've got over 1,300 bird species so far. Story 9. Meditating gets you to places while relaxing in the realm of psychonautics. If it's hard and annoying, you're doing it wrong. It literally is about just sitting there and being. Take a break. Drop any expectations. Be kind with the moment. If your mind is everywhere, congratulate yourself on noticing. That's exactly what it's about. Carry on, nothing to do. The good parts come on their own, really. Story 10. I started flying at 63. <laughs> Piper PA-28, including PA-28RT, Grumman Tiger. At 76 years old, I started taking aerobatics lessons in a decathlon. Story 11, painting models like Gundams. I bought a few in the past, but only until recently have I gone all out painting, lining, and so on. And the bass guitar. I've loved the piano and play regularly, though I'm not great at it and have always been musical. But the bass guitar? Truly amazing. Story 12, Ham Radio. I had always been interested in radio and electronics. Eventually, I got involved in amateur radio, cooking. Early in our marriage, my wife did all of the cooking while I did all of the grilling. Then, I started getting into it as a creative outlet and took over virtually all the cooking. Also, it was an excuse to get into pans and knives. Hmm, gear for radio, gear for cooking kind of sensing a theme here. Story 13. Gaming was too poor when I was a kid. I missed out on a lot of fun things. 
When I got older and got a job after college, I bought a PlayStation 3. Since then, I've gotten a PlayStation 4 Switch and a gaming PC so I can dabble in all the fun things. Story 14, Jigsaw Puzzles. There's one part hobby, one part self-care. I love immersing myself in a structured, simple process and a low-risk problem-solving endeavor with a sleuthing and visual comparison exercise. It reduces my stress and brings me joy as I make consistent, ongoing progress, approaching satisfying closure over time when the puzzle is complete. I have a handy mat I roll up to put away when done for the day and pull it out when I have a couple of hours on the weekend. I find a puzzle visual I adore like a colorful oil painting landscape and enjoy the mental respite. I sometimes listen to my favorite podcasts while I puzzle. I don't often have free time as a parent that works full time, but savor this downtime. I feel so relaxed and grounded after a session. Story 15, trail riding with a bit of road riding. My daughter bought me a bike when COVID started with the hopes that my grandson would ride with me, but it's really hilly where I live. I ended up losing a bunch of weight and I'm nearly not diabetic anymore. I've had a couple of spills, so I've had a couple of bouts of road rash and hit one tree so my wife gets nervous when I go riding. But overall, I've gone from 260 to 212 pounds and put on some muscle after adding a gym membership. It's no fun to ride bikes in the heat and hills here, so he didn't continue. I get up before dark to beat the heat. Story 16, fermentation, mycology, cooking, and gardening. I thought I only liked programming computers and math things when I was younger, but it turns out I love creating and consuming life. Man, I can't wait to have kids. Story 17. Moto camping started riding earlier this year and, man, has it been a blast. I have done a couple of single nights and one trip from Oregon to Montana and back, and that was beautiful. Story 18. I picked up knitting, a surprisingly relaxing and a great way to make cute stuff for my friends. Plus, it's way more satisfying than scrolling through my feed. Story 19. My wife and I were supposed to go away for an anniversary, but our plans fell through for various reasons. So, she suggested we find a one-day class somewhere and take it. I found one that involved making pens on a lathe. She had never used a power tool of that nature before. So, we took the class, each made two pens, and I really got into the materials and the pen kits and the hobby. So. I ended up buying a lathe and a bunch of materials and pen kits, and I've been making them ever since for friends and family for special occasions. Story 20. When I was younger, I knew my time was limited, so I used to have fun and try to let loose. As I got older, I started regretting pushing myself towards mingling with classmates when I was uncomfortable. It was bad and awkward, and I wanted to feel normal. I should have stopped wasting time because I never knew how reading and writing would improve my life. It struck me like lightning that I may never have time for doing what I truly love and enjoy. Story 21. Started cooking more seriously in my late 20s. Never thought I would be into it, but now I am always trying new recipes. It is pretty chill and you get to eat the results. What about you? Story 22. I started during COVID-19 and now everyone loves it so much that I cannot stop. I have had a few big sales, but I truly prefer to do it for family and friends as gifts. Story 23. I am 36. In the past year, I have taken up making digital music. I have been a musician for 20 years, and I find it refreshing. Also, I started floating the river and camping. I couldn't really do that easily where I grew up. Story 24. Welding and machining, lathe. It was something I was always interested in but did not have access to the tools. Having disposable income allowed me to purchase the tools to start. Metal stock also gets expensive without the ability to purchase in bulk. Also, spending more time on knitting since it is portable, and it is always nice to have more blankets. Story 25, woodworking, but if you get into woodworking, also get into 3D printing and 3D solid modeling. I use SolidWorks to design tooling I need for my woodshop and then 3D print it. Think of it like Skyrim. If you are going to be an archer, it's best to work on acrobatics and light armor. Story 26. I have developed a strong interest in the art of overthinking, and I believe I have mastered it. It is a hobby that does not require any equipment, but the mental gymnastics can be demanding. 
If there was a championship, I would consider whether or not to compete.